welcome back. On today's vlog, I'll be showing you what I've been doing for exercise lately, because apparently nobody knows. She woke me up with a bang bang, looking over cross eyed, had a big hunch that the world was a big lie. When I got up, all the blood to my head, I got so dizzy, fell back into my bed. I went over to the wayside, looking for the high tide. What will I find? Will I find? Will I find? Find? All I saw was a man that had a hat that had a pom pom. He's been there for years. Can someone tell me how long? Wait, God, tell me. Please state your full name for the camera. Charlie Bean Barker. Good to meet you. So what do you think that I do during the daytime? Uh, well, if we look at today as an example, you uh, had a couple of clients and then you hung around and chatted to Jeff for about three hours. <laughs> so if that's anything to go by, then I guess that's standard day. How's that accurate? Is, no. that, is that what uh, you wanted me to say? No. So while you're sat up in your office for eight hours working, do you have any idea where I go during the day or what I do for exercise? Um, so I assume you walk like a couple of kilometers maybe with the dogs. That's it? And you have some clients in the gym. Why? I don't understand the line of this questioning. I just want... like you have an ulterior motive. This is where I cut to me going on crazy adventures <laughs> that you have no idea that I go on. Because when you're up working, you think that I'm just either walking the dogs, sat frozen in time, waiting for you to be done work, cleaning, cleaning the, the house. house. Yeah. I hear the vacuum cleaner every so often, so I assume that's you doing that. No, I hired a cleaner so that I could go do more exercise outside. <laughs> Could not find wake up to tell me wake up to show me what I could not. You see, this woman woke me up at a quarter to three, and I didn't know it then, but she put a spell on me. Said I had to go down to where the cliffs meet the sea and meet an old man to present my plea. So I headed way down to the big pier to a way to confront my big fear. I wheeled around behind to my blind side to find an old man with. The lion man of kind eye said, Mr. Mr. with your beard so long, won't you be a saint and tell me just where I'm going? He pointed to a cock shell and then to the lion and said, This is all I really need to get by. Wake up to tell me. Jelly! What do you think I do for exercise, Jelly? She can't move this in. What do you think I do for exercise, Jelly? You take me on a walk. We go to the mailbox and back. It's about 20 minutes because I stop to sniff every three seconds and eat the grass. I'm a good dog. To put a spell on me, said I had to go down to where the cliffs meet the sea and meet an old man to present my plea. So I headed way down to the big pier to a way to confront my big fear. I wheeled around behind to my blind side to find an old man with a lime man. You know, you to think about it now. We just feel that it go teeny, teeny, tiny. No, we're going this way. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, Minnie. What do you think I do for exercise in a day? Naps? She's saying not very much. You think I'm boring? You also get your own 20 minute walk to the mailbox. I said the W word. What else do I do, Winnie? Sit on the couch? Is there enough room up here for us? Come on, good 
Jira. Or are we going this way around the tree? Oh, I was not aware. Oh, Winnie, I am not going. Oh, sweetie, we're going this way. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, Winnie. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem if you're on that side, Winnie. I don't think I can fit. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, ow, ow. Things we do for dogs. Good girl, Winnie. You made it. You made it. Eat food? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, both of those are accurate. But what else? Do you know where I go during the day? To get my exercise? But she put a spell on me Said I had to go down to where the cliffs meet the sea And meet an old man to present my plea So I headed way down to the big pier To a way to kill Hi, Dally. Good girl, Jeff. Go inside. Go inside. This part of the footage here is showing some strength training in the gym. Specifically, we are working on building to a heavy thruster. A thruster is when you grab onto the bar, bring it into the front rack position, which you should eventually see now. Unrack it, head down into a front squat, and then at the top we are pressing that bar out fully overhead. And here I'm still just warming up, so I'm doing two reps. As I get heavier with the weight, I will go down and just do a single rep. We do not train like this every day doing uh, building to a single heavy, but that's what we were testing today. So as you can see here, it's a lot of, oh, here's Jeff about to hit a thruster PR, I believe. And now we are getting ready for our workout. It's more of a mix of metabolic conditioning, so it's not just a heavy strength lift and then a lot of rest in between each set like you saw with the thrusters. This one is designed to get that heart rate elevated, combining strength training with some cardio. This specific workout is called death by power cleans. So every minute on the minute, minute one, we hit one power clean. That's the bar from the ground into that front rack position. The following minute, we're doing two of them. The minute after that, you're doing three and you just build until you literally cannot do another power clean. So it eventually just gets fatiguing on the grip. You'll see me bent over there. I'm trying to breathe, trying to bring my heart rate down as the rest gets shorter and shorter. You should also see the way that I'm grabbing onto the bar there. That's called hook grip. So I'm actually using my fingers to wrap around my thumb and literally just seal that thumb onto the bar so that that bar is not slipping out of my hands as I go through the motions. The other really cool thing about this functional fitness style of training is that all three of us are at different ability and fitness strength levels, but we can all do the exact same workout and we all ended up finishing around the same round. Uh, all I have to do is change the weight on the bar. So I have 65 pounds on here, John has 95, and I believe Jeff has uh, 125 or 135 on the bar there. So 
at this point, it also becomes a bit of a mental battle. Just trying to talk yourself back to that bar when all you really want to John just got it, his 12th one in in time, so he's on to the round of 13, but without any rest in between, it's very hard to continue on like that. So I think he got four or five there into the round of 13. And then we get to sit down and relax. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week and I'll see you guys in the next one. What? Disaster. Well, you guys are It's fine. It's fine.